Welcome back to Augsburg um, with the Leeds uh, final. Finally, after two long days of climbing, we're going to see who is the strongest European athlete today in the lead climbing. Uh, Jule, what do you expect of the final? So the first athletes are already on the wall, so it's getting funky, it's getting exciting and bouldery. So let's see what happens. Thanks, yeah. Christian, and Thank thanks uh, to you and your team. Yeah, thank you and enjoy. <laughs> We will enjoy, I'm pretty sure about that. So we have uh, Loro Krep from Slovenia, uh, first male athlete on the left, and Julia Fiza from Austria on the right side, starting their climb. So the athletes that positioned in eighth place in the semifinals start now, and uh, yeah, the best athletes out of the semis, they are starting last. And so far, everything seems fine. Low crap with the first uh, double dino to the left, no problem for him. And Julia Fisa on the right hand side, she will approach her big dino in a second where you really have to commit. There's no way around, no way of not jumping, at least that what the root setters intended. And Julia is almost there. This is the big, the good hold. Christian Bintama was talking about where you can pull off and you have to land over there on the left. So, And we hope she's ready now for the jump from the one yellow box to the other. Takes a little break here with a heel hook on the right. And also Lovro is in a good position and she made the jump Pretty quite well, yeah. And Animating the crowd. <laughs> Let's go, Augsburg. Where are you? Uh, she's psyched about that. I like that. So, plus point for the root setters. <laughs> very, very cool move. So, uh, after that, she's uh, deciding to rest <laughs> a little while. And well, that's okay. Six minutes time again. 3.30 left. And also, Lovro is in good shape the winner of the EYC lead in Dornbin in 2022 so now you have that hard shoulder move but no problem for him And we see here how steep the wall is. And Lovro finds the crimp on the big cheesecake here. Yeah, both athletes with a really good try. Both athletes looking really strong here. Good job. A tricky section there for Julia Fisa. You have to really find uh, the feet there. Stand up and move over to the left. Really nice. And also Loro Krep still on the wall. And Julia here with the cross move into the right crimp. And now the left one follows. Almost there for Julia. He's a very good try and little crap. They fall together. Yeah, says, well, if... Christoph Hanke far from Germany, two tops. And now we check out how he will manage this final route here at the European Cup in Augsburg. Let's go, Chris. We are with you. We are psyched to see you climbing on the wall here. A little running start. We just saw there for Chris Hanke. So he's probably already psyched because one of his best friends, Alex Megos, qualified for the Olympics. And he tries uh, 
to maybe take home the European Cup here in Augsburg. Very, very strong in the qualification. Had some troubles in the last round. Wasn't really happy about that. But uh, yeah, with pure force, he powered through and made his way into the final. Let's see. Yeah, and with his 30 years, he's really experienced. The oldest one in the field. Now we have that little pogo kick, double jump to the left, but ah. no problem for Chris Hanke. Easy swing there to the left. Very, very nice. And we welcome on the wall Ina Giga Plasu from France. Team France here. What a strong team in lead and speed. Really young crushers. Quite good performance from them. And both athletes are on their way. Yeah, both in a similar position, resting. So in a is soon approaching the dino for the women for her in her route. And Chris just making his way through the yellow cheesecake section there on the left. Yeah, looking strong from him as well. The shoulder move, no problem. And now the high foot on the right. Don't forget to clip, Chris. Very good here. And now Ina Plazuk's Giga at uh, the jump. Takes her time before she will actually jump. So rechalking both hands, looking at the holds she has to hit. And Chris super strong here with the cross move. And it's a little bit windy, as you see. While Ina sticks her jump. Awesome technique from Chris with the toe hook on the left. Looking super nice here. Good progress from him. Takes a little rest here. And then let's go, Chris. And Ina tries to come out of this box, of this yellow box. Here with the cross to the right crimp. Good job, Ina. Ale, ale. Now Chris already at the top section where he gets a little bit more slopey again. Can he go all the way? Clipping again. Chris Hanke also Ina Plazuk's Giga into her next section. Slopers are not really good. That's what the root set has said. And Chris with his last move upwards looks quite pleased. Not totally happy. Well, if you're so close to the top, you always want to finish the route. I think maybe he was a little pumped. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But 44 plus, he takes the lead for the moment. And Ina Plazuk's Giga still has some work to do. Two minutes left for her. So time, not an issue yet. She's still on a good way. Now approaching the black hell again. We already climbed on those volumes yesterday. And now there are some more big black holes over her. Can she muscle her way up? Yes, she can. Yeah, like uh, Julia Fisa before. And she checked the time. One and a half minute left. Uh, maybe good spot to, to rest up a little bit more again. 
for the last upcoming part of the route. Now it's getting more crimpy again. Yeah, two more crimps for Ina. And then a little bit dynamic move, really good. Oh, oh she almost stuck it, Ina Plazok. She got so close to holding on. Wow, what a performance uh, from her. And we already look at our next athlete, Gorac Jurekovic from Slovenia also. He also climbed this wall before, two years ago. There was the European Championships of the Youth. He placed sixth. So today he's uh, looking for maybe an even better placement, uh, not at the European Youth Championships, but at the European Cup of the adult class. He's just approaching the first dyno. Yes! Also for him, no problem. That pogo kick double jump. Yeah, pretty cool move. But it comes early in the route, so uh, probably everyone is a little bit nervous when he approaches this section, but no problem for Goras Jurekovic. Yeah, second Slovenian in the field. Nice foot technique also from him. And like uh, Loro Krepp, he didn't have the best uh, qualification yesterday, but today very good semi-finals. And it's now in the overhanging part here of the wall. Bad crimps. And also Anastasia Kubets from the Ukraine starts her final. She had a really good qualification where she topped both routes. Had some more trouble like uh, many of the women in the last uh, uh, route in the semifinals at the same spot. Now she's here in the finals, not thinking about the semis anymore, just climbing, climbing, climbing. She probably already thinks a little bit about the jump that is coming up for her in just a couple of moves so far. She's climbing well and Goraz with some problems, but sticks that move too. Also, pretty intense move. And Anastasia also a pretty good borderer. And Goraz can't hang on anymore. So he's out of the question for the title here today. And Christian Bintama, the root setter, he told us the route is a little bit bouldery. So I think she will like. Yeah, definitely. Good boulderer, Anastasia Kubets. She probably is going to enjoy the jump now to the left. There you can see very good hold. That's at least what Christian Bintama said. Looks all right. <laughs> And now she's jumping over to the left, no problem for her. Ah, that must feel good when you reach the holds, when you can hold on, when you know you hold on. Pretty cool. Yeah, she participated in the World Championships in Bern last year. Ended up 25th in bouldering. Now it's time for the endurance part here. Uh, that's also a good resting position if you're flexible enough to really basically sit on the hold like she did. And now she's ready to continue. And also Guillermo Peinado Frangio is ready. Spanish athlete starting his final 18 years old comes close or well, lives close to Madrid uh, had a good season in 2023 
won the European Cup lead in Bologna and was wise youth champion in lead and BNL in Helsinki last year. And he had uh, absolutely no problem with the big first dino. Just went th right through it, didn't even think much about it. Yeah, but of course he would love to stand on the podium again. After Bologna, maybe Augsburg today is moving really fast so far. Tricky part still coming up for him, while Anastasia Kobetz now is reaching the heights where it's getting really interesting. Deciding to clip a little bit earlier. Can she reach the quick draw? Yes, she can. And now there will be the two crimps and then the dynamic cr cross move to the right. Uh, I think she's already pretty ah, pumped. Yeah. How much longer can she stay on the wall? She's fighting hard while Guillermo sticks the next move. Yeah, and Anastasia Kobetz can't reach the new high point. She doubled that crimpy flake here on the right and I think that costs a lot of effort. And Guillermo now reaching the part of the wall where it really gets tough. Where endurance comes in as a factor. Because so many small crimps where you have to really use a lot of power. But he still moves really, really well. The Spanish. And now he's uh, coming close to a new high point. Can he hold on to the slope? Yes, he can. Nicely done by Guillermo Painado. Frangio. Is he reaching the top as the first climber today? One last move for the Spanish climber. And he does. He hangs on. What a performance for Guillermo Painado. Frangio. Wow. Rosa Reca from Slovenia. Also 18 years old, like Guillermo. Also won a European Cup last year. Was in Selina. So maybe that means she's also climbing all the way to the top now. We will see. We will see, Zebi. She was also on the podium at the European Youth Championships in Helsinki last year. She's one of two Slovenian climbers, female climbers, in that final here in Augsburg. So strong Slovenian team here as well. Two men and two women in the finals. That looks flowy here. No problem for her. And we welcome from the Czech Republic, Jan Stipek. And he's also super fast on his way. Yeah, he probably enjoys some of the more dynamic moves too. Also very good at bouldering. So he approaches the pogo kick jump. Pogo move basically when you stand there with one leg and you try to gain some momentum with the other one, as he will do just now. Yeah, gaining the momentum and then the jump. Oh, whoa, whoa. Decides, decides to <laughs> double the first one. I don't think that makes it easier, but. What works, works. And also Rosa Reka comes in there with a little bit more power than she probably needed, but also sticks that move. Pretty cool looking. Pretty sure our photographer Xaver Kintos is going to make some nice pictures of that move. Uh, really amazing. Good work from both of them in their dynamic routes. Moves off the route. And also really good and precise food technique here from both of them. Yeah, Jan 
Dusty Pick, only 16 years old so far, but he can compete with the best athletes in Europe, as we can see today. Uh, a small crimpy section there. And now, another big move for Jan Stipek coming up after this one. That looks super easy from him. That shoulder move, no problem. And the 18 year old Rosa is in the dark hell now, but for her, it looks super easy and comfortable. And now. You have to push your body up to that black beans here. Good job from her. You need good fo footwork. And it's also Jan stays in the wall. Well, I think it's really amazing how fast uh, Guillermo climbed uh, his climb. Because if you look at the time now, Jan has about Two and a half minutes, a little bit more left, and Guillermo was already finished at that time. And now Rosa Rica can't stick uh, the move to the big mm. sloper. Yeah, I think it was the same position as uh, Anastasia yeah. before. Seems to be. Uh, that crimp is super small here. But let's see what Jan Stippe can do now. That crimp is super bad, the root setter told us. Can yeah. he manage? Come on, Jan. Uh, looks really pumped. Can he do a couple more moves? It's not far anymore. Uh, it's like, I think, like Chris Hanke. And here we see the Italian guy, Matteo Reusa. Spanish athlete, Isa Martinez Almendros. The floor is already a little bit wet because of the rain and uh, yeah, you don't want to have wet climbing shoes, especially if you start your route with a running start on some uh, slopey volumes. So <laughs> smart move there by Matteo Reza. As you said, maybe the weather is not so good. It's raining and it's windy. Maybe that's the reason why uh, Matteo Reza is speeding up here the lead wall. Yeah, it's also kind of cool, like in the afternoon or during the semis you had like 25 degrees and sunshine and now it's more like 13, 14 degrees with wind, so a lot cooler. Oh, it tries to clip there from down here. I don't know if that is the best move because he has to jump to the left then. Anyway, so now he figured maybe first the jump and then the clip, probably a better solution. Ah, good job from him, the 16-year-old Italian vice champion at the European Youth Championships Boulder in Dallas 2022. Won two European Youth Cups last year. So this guy is strong in lead and in Boulder. Uh, it shows today. Really fast so far. Also, uh, Isia Martinez Amendros is uh, climbing pretty fast. Already at the jump, at the double dino there to the left. So she has to jump from the black bean to the green holes on the left of the yellow volume. Awesome, really good performance from her. No problem with the jump. Yeah, also didn't waste much time with resting up before the jump, as we've seen from other climbers. So she obviously also decided uh, to just climb pretty fast. Uh, Matteo soon before his next dynamic move. Another nice boulder move coming up for him. There we see. How he easily does it. Now the cross move to the left. No problem for him as well. Yeah, still looks in control. Yeah, 
Yeah, both athletes are dancing through the wall. Really cool. Yeah, it's impressive. Like we said before, the officials like uh, to move on fast because of the incoming rain. <laughs> and maybe the athletes decided uh, yeah, to play with them and just move really, really fast. But uh, Matteo Reza, three minutes left, so almost at the top. Four, five, six moves left for him. And I think now he's getting a little bit pumpy. You see it on the left elbow and the next crimp for the right hand. It's not really good, but he's fighting and it looks really, really good. Come on, Matteo. <laughs> <laughs> As you said, he got really pumped. He tried to shake out while grabbing the next hold a little bit at least. Yeah, all of a sudden, this route gets really, really pumpy up there. And Isa, she's still in the game. Shaking her hands as well. Yeah, clever wrist position for her. Yeah, now shaking out the other hand too. Smartly done, and now she continues into the two crimps. And uh, yeah, she finds the thump on the left. That's really good. And she made the move super nice. Awesome performance from her. And now it's really hard now for the last meters. But she's looking strong. Uh, can she go all the way? Isia Martinez Almendros. Tremendous strength right there finds the foot and now she does she have the power to go really good and we are here with our next starter from france so team france really awesome performance from them two starters here in the lead final from the european cup and we welcome luca dufran two tops at the qualification round and we are super psyched to see him climbing now and he's already at the first really bouldery section gaining some momentum and then he has to commit no problem for him Another clip and then swing over to the right. Uh, that's part of the route that looks like it's a lot of fun. And then afterwards, it's yeah, getting more crimpy to be more precise and show more of your strength. And we welcome the next female athlete here on the wall from Belgium, Eloise Dumont, 26 years old, national champion here, Belgium champion in lead climbing. And we saw also a really good performance from her in the qualification round, two tops. And she ended up third in the semifinals today. So we are super stoked to see her climbing. Yeah, so far, no problem for her. While Luca Dufro already a little bit higher up in the route. Doesn't look. Super comfortable. <laughs> yeah, super comfortable, but he decides to use the salt to rest up a little bit. So now he will continue into this shouldery move there. And makes it here super dynamic. Yeah. Looking looked, good. Looked really easy and flowy, but I don't think he feels too easy. But still, it takes his time to clip. And Eloise Dumont is on the black 
be now and ready for the jump. Nicely done. Ay, ay, ay. Almost over rotates a little bit. And here you see how steep the wall is here for El Louis Dumont. With the yellow volume, it makes it really steep here. And uh, Luca uh, Dufour approaching the last few holds. Let's see how his pumpness level looks. Ah, about the same <laughs> as the other climbers. At this point, he puts his hands in front of his face. No, so only a few. Holds were left. And Eloise Dumont. She is still going. Looking super strong here. Eloise Dumont. Uh, she needs to just stay calm, concentrate. She probably knows she's in very, very good shape. She already showed it in the qualifications. As you said, third place in the semis today and uh, she has no problem standing up there. It looks super easy how she's dancing on that black volumes. I'm not taking much time to rest up there like uh, Easy Martinez Almendros before her. Also, that looked pretty controlled. Eloise uh, Dumont from Belgium. One, two, three holds left. Not the easiest top section she's probably ever climbed. Small crimp, yes, you just use it to get the next one. And now you have to prop up to reach the top. Yes, this is the way it's supposed to be. Eloise Dumont is reaching the top. Can she hold down? Yes, she can. Wow. What a climb from the Belgium. Strong, strong performance by Eloise Dumont. Awesome send from her. And let's see what the last man on the wall on that day will do it's max berton he won the qualification yesterday he won the semi-finals today morning and now he's on the wall again yeah maybe it's the day of the french max today because uh, max Mengual already won the speed competition this morning now max berton with an easy jump to the left. Yeah, as for now, uh, Guillermo Painado Franganillo is in first place. He topped the route, so Max Berton, if he wants to win, he also needs to go all the way. That's the fact. So far, no big trouble for him. And so far, Jan Stipek in second place. Chris Hanke for the moment in third. If he will stay on the podium, it depends all on Max Berton. But as you said, he's in such a good form here in Augsburg. Looking super strong here as well. The 17-year-old brother from Oriane Berton. Everybody knows she already qualified for the Olympic Games in Paris this year. And her brother super strong as well european youth champion last year in helsinki and now he made the shoulder move pretty well no problem for him and we see another french climber on the right side it's kemi pushe Sixth at the World Cup in Briançon last year. So, 
also really good climber. So two French athletes on the wall. Ali Ali. Yeah, she's already won a European Cup too last year in Bologna. In Selena, she plays second, so she knows uh, what it takes to take a title like the one we give away today. And if you look at her teammate, Max Berton, we see him leaving the yellow section behind. And now it's approaching the smaller crimps again. Yeah, she's a little bit fighting here, I think. Let's see. Ah, she managed really good. Yeah. Both athletes take a little rest here. Yeah, Kami prepares for her double dino to the left. Yeah, chalks up before that move. Of course, you don't want sweaty hands when you jump over there a couple of meters. Can she hold on? No, she cannot. Can we push it? Uh, you said it before, she wasn't looking so comfortable and maybe she it, was already thinking about yeah, the jump. It seems that she's a little bit nervous. She didn't feel so comfortable in that position. And for me, it seems that she won't do that move. Yeah, but, but let's now have we have a to look, look at, at Max, Max. Bertot because he is so close to becoming uh, the champion here today in Augsburg. But One more move, but he, he cannot hold on. Let's see what Jennifer Buckley can do here. She were also very good here at the European Cup. Till now, won the semis, won the qualification with two tops. Yeah, she's one of the biggest talents coming out of Slovenia. Following a little bit in the footsteps of maybe the most famous climber ever. Not ever, but Janja Ganbret, definitely. I think she's. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe she is. Uh, she's just cruising through all competitions, like uh, Jennifer Bucky cruised through the semis. Uh, she really didn't show any signs of being tired or anything where other athletes struggled. She just kept going. So we will see what she is doing now. Jump is coming up, up in a second. She's just 17 years old, so the youngest in that field of the final. Wise youth, European champion, in lead in Helsinki last year. She's also strong in bouldering as well. And so the jump should not problem for her. Sticks it. Yeah, but it's, I think it's not going so easy for her. Has to re-grip a lot. Maybe she needs to find her zone a little bit. Of course, if you show a very dominant performance in a round before, maybe pressure is creeping up in it, into you in the head, and that's what you don't need while lead climbing. Most yeah. of the time, too much thinking is not good. Yeah, that's true. And I think maybe she's very tall, and um, the box here, it's very small. <laughs> so um, I think the position maybe is not so comfortable for her, but Let's see what she can do now. Yeah, she decides to rest a lot compared to, uh, to maybe a couple of climbers before her. Uh, Isia Martinez Samendros or Eloise Dumont. They just kept going at this point, but maybe it will be perfect decision for her. We will find out as she keeps climbing. Yeah, and it's the same um, here. For the women, she has to top the route if she wants to win. Yeah, Eloise Dumont in first place with her top. Isia Martinez Amendros in second and Sina Plazux Giga in third place. As for now, and of course, all these women are looking at all these women are looking at uh, at her, at Jennifer Buckley, because she is the decider now. 
Yeah, long resting time again. Climbing more slowly, taking her time. Now into the crimpy land there, into the black hell. A lot of black beans are waiting for you, Jennifer. So concentration now, Jennifer, you can do it, come on. Oh, she has to stand up, also not so easy if you're a little bit taller. But she's made it. Yeah, and I think the wall want to bring you a little bit out of your comfort zone. But yeah, she takes her time. And now the first crimp is waiting, the second one for the left, but you have the thump also. And now that little bit dynamic move. Can she stick it? Come on, Jennifer. Oh, last crimp of the competition for her in her right hand. Oh, it looks hard for her, but now she has to prop up here. Come on, Jennifer. Oh, she's deciding to rest again. Maybe now her height might come into play because she's made it. Jennifer Buckley from Slovenia is going to be the champion today here at the European Cup in Augsburg. She needed a top and she got the top right when she needed it. Going on in the leaderboard here right now. Now it says Chris Hanke in third place. So we will just look at it. 44 plus, maybe Jan uh, Stipek uh, didn't get awarded one more hold. Oh, that's okay, we'll take it. Here we see the result, Jennifer Buckley in first. Uh, Eloise Dumont with a top in second place and Isia Martinez Amendros from Spain in third place. Also very good climbing by Ina plazuk Giga, Julia Fisa. <laughs>